Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Programming Knowledge and this is another video on how to create responsive contact form in PHP with MySQL, jQuery, and Bootstrap. So in the last tutorial, we have laid out the basic structure of our contact form. We have created the form with the ID contact dash form method post and action index that PHP. So we'll just change this into contact.php instead of index.php. And we also have defined the class or div with the class messages, where in which we will display all the messages. If we have message such as errors and feedbacks coming from our contact form. So in this tutorial, we will continue working on with this contact form and we will add the contact that uh, that PHP file okay so we have created the contact that PHP file and in this particular script we will handle the sending of email okay so we'll just open up the PHP tag here so in the first part of this script we will configure basic variables that we need. So the first one will be from. The second will be send to. The third one will be subject. new message from contact form another one will be fields so under subject fields and then the other one is ok message the other one is error message And let's just set default uh, values for this. So the for, uh, from will be the demo contact form. And with the demo at domain.com, we will just set the same for the send to a variable. Okay. The OK message or the OK message will be contact form successfully submitted. I will get back to you. And the error message will be there were errors while sending the email this field variable is of type array and inside this we're gonna need to set few elements for name the second one will be surname third this phone number or phone yes phone or it's the other way around so this will be phone and this will have the capital P and also will be the email so this will be message okay and in here we need to set the error porting this will be E all 
in D notice. Okay. But if you don't need the error reporting, you can just set this into something like uh, error reporting and then inside the brackets or parentheses is the value zero. Okay. And our sending logic should be wrapped around a try and catch block. Okay, exception and exception variable. So first we're going to check if the count of our post variable is not equal to zero or meaning the size of our post variable is not equal to zero or equal to zero then we'll just throw exception new exception form is empty Okay. And below this line, you need to uh, define a new variable, which is email text. You have a new message from your demo contact form. Dash in. and here we'll just we'll just define or add a new for each block and we'll pass in the post variable as key value pairs and we're just going to check if the value or the key is set so field or fields and then the key curly braces open and close curly braces if the fields with the key is set in fields uh, variable which is the array that we have defined above then we need to concatenate our email text with the value so fields and then the key colon with the value backslash n and we need to wrap this with double code okay save our contact.php file and we need to terminate the this particular line And we need to set the headers of our email. So headers equals array with content type text slash plain. And of course, the character set will be UTF-8. Dash A Okay And then From Dot From And then Reply to push reply to force the origin originating email and return uh, will also be the from variable which is the originating 
email okay and then right below this line we need to call on the method mail send to which is the recipient of our email the subject and then the email text and then we need to implode the headers semicolon and then response array equals array and type success message will be set the ok message that we have defined earlier and of course if there's an error or there's an exception we could set the response array into something uh, type danger and then of course the message will be the error message that we have defined okay and below this line we just have to check if the request is by Ajax and then if the request is by Ajax then return the JSON response that we have defined so if not empty the server and then HTTP X requested with and let's just copy this so server and then still are to lower server HTTPX requested with equals let's just check if this is coming from XML HTTP request okay and the next is to encode the response array response uh, json encode instead of decode so response array and of course we need to set the header for this so content type equals application or semicolon or column application slash json and echo encoded okay save or contact that php file and in the next tutorial we will continue working on with this form upload this to a server and and check if our form is working or not thanks